So, ladies and gentlemen, my plea today is for countries to come together to create the environment that enables every sector of industry to take the action required. We know this will take trillions, not billions of dollars. We also know that countries, many of whom are burdened by growing levels of debt, simply cannot afford to go green. Here we need a vast military-style campaign to marshal the strength of the global private sector. With trillions at his disposal. Who is his? Look what he goes on to say. Far beyond global GDP, and with the greatest respect, beyond even the governments of the world's leaders, it offers the only real prospect of achieving fundamental economic transition. Beyond what? Can, we, can I just say the last part of this? Beyond what? Look what he says. It offers the only real prospect beyond even the governments of the world's leaders. It offers the only real... Beyond the governments of the world's leaders. Yeah, so his, his? his disposal. So, folks, we li this is absolutely remarkable. And I'll guarantee you, he said this on purpose. He's reading his notes. Who do you think told him to say this? This was not a fluke. And by the way, there's only a few guys that have been yelling about this. Me, Tom, Andy Woods, a few others. And you know what they've been doing? They've been erasing this off the internet. Yeah. This is absolutely remarkable to understand the days that we live in. Okay, so we talk about from Daniel, from Book of Revelation, from various passages, there's going to be a global system. It will rise out of Europe, and they will crown their leader, and it will be a he. It won't be a she. It'll be a he. And the Book of Revelation calls him antichrist or beast we would commonly refer to him as antichrist he's against christ he's going to be the most powerful leader the world has ever known the book of revelation tells us revelation chapter 13 that nobody can make war with him who can stop him absolutely nobody what does prince charles say everything that you just heard this is remarkable day folks we live in incredible days did you know that prince charles i believe he's He's very likely going to be taking the throne of England soon. Oh. <laughs> Did you know that? God help us. I know there's been a lot of conversation yeah. about it. He bro. probably is. He probably is. So, but I mean, you look at this. He's got, hey, listen, he obviously is talking about someone. He's talking about someone that's a man. He's talking about someone that nobody knows who he is yet. He's the most powerful man in the world. More powerful is he than all of the global leaders combined. Yep. Hello. Revelation 17, the 10 kings give their power and authority to the beast. Bro, he's saying that the leaders who rule these government conglomerations are not enough. They're not sufficient. Millions at his disposal. That's what he's saying is sufficient. That's what he's saying is necessary. And what he's basically saying is the world leaders that are ruling this conglomerate, referring to the body of people in the UN, are not enough. It's got to be the trillions yep. at his disposal. Trillions at his disposal, and he is more powerful than all of them. And we're going to get all the military the might together, muster up all of it for his his strength. I, I In just, other words, a, a military-style campaign. Military. A military-style campaign means we're going to force this. You don't like what okay. you say? It cuts you yeah. off. You don't do this? You're, yeah. That's exactly what this is. Okay, like. so Revelation chapter 6, rider on the white horse, very first horse, very first seal, goes about conquering into conquer. He has a bow but no arrows. In other words, he has military strength, the bow, but he doesn't use it. But what does he do? He conquers, he subdues, he destroys by rules and regulations and crushing. That describes the rider on the white horse, everything that you just saw in that video. Doesn't it? Absolutely. The military strength, the bow, no arrows, not going to use the military to destroy you, but going to crush you by every single rule or regulation they are bringing. Klaus Schwab, by 2030, you'll own nothing and like it. Klaus Schwab, somebody behind him has directed him, you're going to run the school. Who is this guy? Oh, yeah. You don't know. But I can tell you this. 
I can tell you this is all in preparation for what we read about in Revelation chapter 13. Yes, it is. If people can't see it now, James, you, you have to be in denial. You have to write everybody that talks about these things off as a kook, which many people do. Okay. That's fine. We know the Bible is true, and you can't make this stuff up. How could the Bible actually predict these things thousands of years ago <laughs> that are all happening right now? That's right. How could it? Yep. You just say, 100%. That, oh, that's just a bunch of conspiracies? No, it's, it's true. James, we're out of time. Uh, that's a heck of a place to leave. We were it. just getting into it, bro. We were. Well, I want to save some things for another time because I want to come back to this. I want to revisit this. We have to. This is amazing stuff.